Are you sick of this? Me too! Hello folks, welcome back to 802 Garage, and today I have a product to show you from Ideal Security Incorporated, and they make these organization bins which should help you with problems like this. Clearly I need a little bit of help with organization, so without further ado, let's get this thing opened up to show you what I've got. Oh, well, comes well protected, and some big bubble wrap. So this is the 669 Tilt Bins by Ideal, and I will say real quick that I was given this product by Ideal to tell you all what I think about it, but they did not tell me anything to say about it, did not give me any requirements, they just sent it out to me. I was actually referred by a much bigger YouTuber who didn't have time to do it, and I really, really appreciate it. So let's get this cellophane off, and I'll tell you a little more about it. So obviously a storage bin is not a new concept. What makes these kind of cool is that they tilt out like that so that you can grab whatever you need, flip it back in, and they are also made of a crystal clear polystyrene plastic as advertised by the Ideal website. They're supposed to be impact resistant, and I figured that bolts will put these to the test. I may actually be beating on these a bit more than they usually intend, but what better way to make sure that a product actually works? So the idea here is these are all the nuts and bolts that I have from parting out an entire Nissan Sentra, and I'm gonna organize them into these bins probably basically by thread pitch and you can see here too that there's different sizes of bins you've got smaller ones and bigger ones and they also make multiple configurations of these bins that are all stackable that was satisfying I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but so that makes these pretty unique you can also wall mount them apparently stack them have as many different storage options as you would like, and they do provide some labels with them, which is convenient. Obviously, you can put them right on the little label spots there. So I am going to put all these nuts and bolts into these little storage bins, and this might be some satisfying time-lapse footage out there for you organization freaks, and I'll tell you what I think when I'm done. Sorry, I just had to do that one more time before I got going. All right. Bins are removable just in case I need to swap, you know, if I find another size in between. Real easy to remove, they just slot back in nice and easy. I don't actually know how they made that that easy, but that works really nicely. You kind of just set it in and then as long as you push back a little bit, it goes up over a little ramp. And there you have it. Nicely done. All right. Good place to make a quick note, if you have all the bins open, it's obviously going to be a little bit tilty. Although I do wonder how many of the doors are closed before anything fell out, but I'm not going to test it. So, I'm going to close a few things here, try to focus on uh, one type of bolt at a time for a while. Which, obviously it makes sense that you would mount this on something wherever you set it, or at least, you know, maybe just put something around it to tie it. Be responsible with your tilt bins, folks. So I did find a limitation, uh, I'd say this is probably mm, five inches long, so in these bins I wouldn't recommend putting in something that has to fit in diagonally all the way across the bin like this, because there is the chance of it kind of jamming in between the side and the case, especially with heavier objects like this, so that's no big deal. This is a pretty unique bolt, I'll keep it around in my bolt bin with all the other stuff that I'm deciding not to put in the bins, um, but just a good note to know. The limitations of physics, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 
This bolt is just a different thread pitch than all the rest, which makes me question if it's even from this car. So it's not gonna go in here because I need to put nuts up here. Well, there you have it folks, an entire Nissan Sentra worth of nuts and bolts in the Ideal Security 669 tilt bins. Overall, no complaints from me. Uh, basically, I, I really like the fact that these bins are easy to pull out, just kind of pull up after you tilt it out, and then as long as you put the little pegs in the bottom there, they flip right back in. Uh, like I said, you do want to mount this to something, but as it sits with all the bins closed, very stable. There is a little bit of flex in this, you know, it's not something that I would want to bend excessively, especially when cold. And I don't know exactly how chemical resistant these bins would be, but I did look up polystyrene and it basically just says, you know, don't throw a bunch of chemicals at it. And it's nice that these are clear so you can't see what's in there. Obviously you can label them. I basically just have this size of bolts I have the most of, so I put them into two bins. You can see I reorganized that. It's pretty easy to switch bins around or take them out and dump them into other bins. And uh, it's holding all the weight just fine. I wasn't delicate and gingerly with it, so I'm not too worried about it breaking, at least not easily. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy about this. If it was up to me, I would have probably five of these all along the wall, and I would have one for Nissan, one for Subaru, one for Toyota, because even though a bolt is a bolt, sometimes you want the bolt, and I know what kind of hardware is on Subarus. I don't know as much about Mitsubishi, Nissan, Toyota, and yes, I am pretty much a metric guy, but obviously these will work for SAE as well, so don't run away V8 lovers and anything you have in your garage that needs to be organized. But uh, I do have a whole bunch of Subaru bolts and Mitsubishi bolts, so maybe I'll get me some more of these or some different bins that I can stack and find a place to mount them. Either way, this is far more convenient than having everything in a yellow bin or a cardboard box like I had it before, and I would have to pretty much dump it out every time I wanted to find something. And finding nuts in particular was very difficult since there were so few of them, and they're much smaller than the bolts. So thank you very much everyone for watching my quick unboxing and initial impressions review of the Ideal Security 669 bins. And I do actually have a link down below to a site where you can get them for a discount. This bin is pretty affordable, which is one of the nice things about it. Usually goes for about 45 bucks American, I believe, but the sale right now, everything is up to 45% off. So just go click the link and check it out. Thank you very much to Ideal Security. And also thank you to the YouTuber who referred them to me. If you ever see this, you know who you are and I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, this is going to come in really handy for me. One of those major time savers that you don't regret after you get it. If I ever have a major problem with it, I'll let you know. But so far, all my communication with Ideal has been very pleasant. And as they encouraged me, I encourage all of you to stay safe out there in these troubling times. Hope you get some spring cleaning done in the garage as I'm trying to do. Thank you for watching it at Two Garage. If you do enjoy content about tools, about hardware, about project cars in general, or just stuff related to the garage, then please do consider subscribing. Leave the video a like. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in the comments. I get back to pretty much every single one. Thanks folks, and I'll catch you very soon.